This is Stompy Tutorials on how to do Cork 720. In this video we're first going to go through how to do Cork to back and once we got that down we're going to do proper Cork 720s. Once you got it down we're going to take it to the slopes. Before you attempt cork 7s, make sure you get the basic spins down like 360s and you can make 720s with ease. First you're going to try the cork to back. This is so you get a feel for what it's actually going to be like to land a cork 720. But let's first explain how a cork 7 works. You set off the rotation like a normal 7, but you look down and behind yourself. This sets off a rotation where your head is tilted backwards. And then your head is going to come around to the side and then in the end it pops up and you land on your feet. It's quite an awkward movement at first but it's so sick once you get it. It's the same on trampoline as well as on skis. You take off the jump, look slightly behind you Look how the head is tilted back, just like on the trampoline. And it comes around to the side, and bam, you'll stomp it. We can do the cork to back. Set off a normal rotation but you lean slightly back and look at the line behind you. When you pull your legs in, you land on your back with your head towards the side of the trampoline. And you'll bounce up and land on your feet again. Look at the line behind you, make a normal spin, tilt it backwards a little bit and pull your legs in. Make sure your head is pointed towards the side of the trampoline like this and you'll easily pop up onto your feet again. It's a bit awkward at first but I'm sure you can handle it. So once you've done a couple of cork to back, try another few normal 720s because we're now we're just going to adapt them a little bit by looking behind you. Wind up a bit of rotation like on any other spin and when you're in the middle of a trampoline look at the back of the trampoline and pull your legs in as early as you can because this is going to help you cork out. And keep looking around your shoulder all the way Start off your first cork sevens by looking really far back and then you can look closer and closer towards where you're standing. And the closer to yourself you're looking, the more you're going to cork. Common mistakes. Often people think you need to throw yourself back a lot and you over cork it like this. And this is pretty easily fixed. Do a couple of straight 720s and then just look a little bit behind yourself. So you lean back a little. Try to do them basically straight with a tiny bit of cork at first. Another common problem is that you don't cork out properly. And this is quite easily fixed as well. Grab a safety grab as early as you can in the rotation. Here I get the grab at the 180. And then hold on to it as long as you can. It really helps you to uncork the rotation. I hope you stomped a cork 7 quickly on the trampoline. 
It's time to take it to the park now. It really is a prerequisite to know how to do a good 720 with and without grabs and you should basically land it every time. And once you got it down every time, then it's time to start trying your first cork 7s. The first thing you should think about when trying this is riding with a wide stance with a lot of wind up so you get the rotation you need. And at the takeoff, look slightly behind your tails and shove your hip a little bit forwards. As soon as you take off the jump, pull in your legs and reach for a safety grab. This is going to help you cork out, just like it did on the trampoline. Try to spot the landing as early as possible. So at the takeoff, I look slightly behind the tails and pull both your legs up and reach for the safety grab. The safety grab is really important to help you cork out. I can't stress it enough, but the way you look in the takeoff is going to determine how much you're going to cork. And I suggest that you start off looking pretty far behind you like this, so you just cork a little. And once you get more comfortable, you can look closer to your tails and cork more. Then go for a grab as early as you can. And then you will be able to spot the landing quite early during a cork 7. It's important to take it easy and just wait for it, and you will spot the landing. I suggest that you start out corking just a little bit, like this. Here I'm maybe corking 30 degrees or so, and then you look a little bit closer to your skis in the takeoff, and you will cork more. And Push your hip forwards a little bit, this is also going to help you cork more. And once you're really comfortable, you should be able to cork it so well that you're laying horizontal in the air. One of the most common mistakes doing corks is that you throw yourself down way too early. This way you lose a lot of height, but you'll also struggle corking out. And this guy is also throwing himself too much to the side, which makes it more difficult to cork out. So what you want to do is that you wait patiently and pop hard at the edge of the lip and that's when you start leaning backwards as well. Another common mistake is that you don't really cork out. This is a pretty decent 720 but it lands quite back seated. Notice here he doesn't lean back a lot and he also loses the safety grab really early. So what I want you to focus on is to shove your hip forwards and lean back and pull up your legs quickly. Ideally I want you to get the safety grab before you've done a 360. Here I do it at about 270 and then you'll quite easily cork out. I hope you learned something and feel like you can do cork soon. At StompyTutorials.com we're launching a one hour long package of the most detailed beginner freestyle skiing tutorials. 
And don't forget, follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. And you'll be notified when we post new tutorials, because we're going to make a lot more during 2015.